clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You? After peace was made, Eva murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rodri to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter, in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Eivor gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. Life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. One sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steep. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Eva gone. Shirupshire, an ally. I should confer with Randri. We are allied with Shirupshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chelbet will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finia myself. A good plan. What? What's happening? Finia? No, not unless Halfton sent you. Let's pretend Halfton did send me. Then we pretend you're Finia, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom when this is the speed you work at? Uh, I found him already. And as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down on that throne. Which man? Uh. You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I 
was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real... And that be a burden off my shoulders. What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity? But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It wasn't us! Your folk destroyed this country once before! Now you're doing it again! We live here, you blistering fool! We were attacked as well! You live here because you took our land! I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh! How nice to have a home to speak of, man! Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you! Be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I'm a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I am? You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So, what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Hafton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me.
slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's beeping. I'll have a look. The guards here are vigilant. Should be the last of these big faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. clan they left none alive god rest their souls i'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family show more grit than you're showing me now and they may start to like you yes sorry i'm just shaken if you joined us at dinner that might ease their minds a touch think about it my doors are open to you i'd be happy to join you tell me when and where wonderful visit us in elmham whenever you have time it's worse here than i feared A healthy seeming town, as Oswald has done well for himself. Look there. Alone, Jane. Can't trust that. Shh, be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham my generosity. Been here, our steward, to our guests of honor, both here. Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Broder, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Broder. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home, and won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? 
I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned with the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your blessed ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me. She called us flaccid! Limp, weak, soft. <laughs> Ridiculous! Absurd! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Uh, clear the mess in the longhouse and wake my brothers with the coldest water you can find. Eivor, good to see you. Ah, good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't... Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not. The Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne. You dazed a dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Pinner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnear the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> What just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. Got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. 
When I'm done with you, Kerr, you'll be Ravenflock food. But your brain's soaked in mead and your... Head's made of wood. Wood? Head's made of wood. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You? Not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Go on, give some back. About his height this time. You claim you're a Dane, but your bloodline is stained. A wee dwarf must have ravished your mum in the rain! Oh. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamped words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said... I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. Water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait. You made it. Now tussle with care, and go easy on our future king. He's the only man left who can claim the crown. Kings are made, not born, Finir. So let us see what we can make of Oswald. <sighs> Done. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Just do your best, I'll be fine. We'll forge your king out of you yet. Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. Don't hold back. Ah! You expect the Danes to follow this pork belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. Come now! Fire us, king! You'll never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! Finish this, Eivor! It pains me to watch! Eivor hmm? is the victor. You've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit. 
And courage. Always push back with everything you have. Even if you have to get dirty. Even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attack Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. No raising the sail here. Hey, what's the matter? Let's have a song. We will pick up from there. No one has been willing to take a stand against us merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Avery. There is work to do, yes. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make us. Sail down! Let's get it! Sail out! Sing, my ring. Well, Oswald, does the threat of death drug whatever compels you? Hang on to it. Do nicely. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard won fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up?
This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to Norwich, and send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. Oh, that silver, livestock, and a trophy from our slain enemy. What more do you want? Who's... No battle dented Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing Walter when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Baldus is right. There will be others. Any more, I would have killed them too. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich Walls, by the water's edge. They will be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Druid scouts would be camped near their boats outside the city walls. One of them will talk. Wait, wait! What are you doing? I'm just a pig farmer. You are awfully well armed for a pig farmer. Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who'd like to speak with you. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh, it's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. send you to speak now and you may live to see tomorrow Arger swine that won't make you any friends here a scolding like that is a mortal offense boy I killed the bastard don't give him time to act again I'll ask once more why were you lurking around Norwich's walls I came to pay my respects, Lord. To Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. I could do that all day, you drooling bloodbladder. Only give me a reason. Lick my dunghole. Here's the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your eyes? When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. He may still be of value to us if he... 
any man who questions your courage and feels no shame. That's your answer. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdus, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already. I was. We'd been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the brazier at Donich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on, and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. Eivor, you made it. Dunwich. It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Ruther, Valdis, and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. <laughs> 